Thank you for watching Ina Me TV. Today is Thursday, 3rd of November, 2022. Oathkeeper Rhodes had violent message for Trump after January 6, witness says. Alpers said he did not deliver Rhodes's words to Trump, because I didn't agree with the message. He also said he worried that being associated with these extremist ideologies would hurt his relationships and credibility. Copyright John Minchillo, app in this January 6, 2021, file photo, violent protesters, loyal to then-President Donald Trump, storm the Capitol. We're going to fight, the fight's going to be ours. And if he had known on January 6 that Trump would never invoke the Insurrection Act, Rhodes said, he would have gone further that day, including assassinating a Democratic leader. It was at that point that I kind of stepped back and I'm really kind of questioning whether pushing this to President Trump is in the best interest. Four days after meeting Alpers, records show Rhodes told Oath Keepers leaders that it is regretfully becoming clear that President Trump will not be taking the decisive action we urged him to take. He urged the group to delete all communications related to January 6 and muster against an illegitimate regime. Texts read in court show other defendants reacting enthusiastically, discussing potential hideouts and weaponry to assemble. Rhodes told Alpers on the recording that if Trump gave up power that he and his family would wind up dead because Biden would turn the Insurrection Act against us. He compared the election to the overthrow of the Tsar of Russia in 1917, after which the entire royal family was slaughtered. As he had publicly before January 6, Rhodes repeatedly said Trump should invoke the Insurrection Act, which he believed would allow militia groups to block President Biden from taking office. Please like and subscribe to Ina Me TV below. We bring you the latest news through the power of artificial intelligence as it happens. Thank you for listening.